What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. Let's talk about setting up proximity voice chat in your Minecraft server. It's super simple. And of course, if you don't already have a server set up, you'll find a link to this video's sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting is a powerful platform for hosting Minecraft servers with one-click mod pack installations, powerful DDoS protection, good support, low latency, automatic backups, and much more. Clicking the link in the description down below and using the code Black Friday gets you 40% off your first invoice. Simply click get Get started, choose Minecraft, Java, or Bedrock Edition, or any other game for that matter, choose a server configuration, and order now. Then, shortly after, you'll have your own powerful Minecraft server set up. Thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide, and let's continue. So, the mod that I'll be talking about is Simple Voice Chat. It's the simplest way to get proximity voice chat in Minecraft pretty much to date, and as you can see, downloading for, let's say, 1.21.3, it has support for spigot, paper, forge, fabric, and everything else under the sun. If you have a server setup, there's a good chance that you can just drop this mod in, drop it in on your client, and voice chat will be working out of the box. So let's get to installing it. First of all, you'll need to download it for your Minecraft version. I'm using 1.21.3 and both my server and my client are using Fabric. Simply select it, choose download and wait for it to finish. Then once it's done downloading, we'll need to drag the jar file into our mods folder for both our game client and our game server. For our server, I've got it set up over here and with it closed, I'll open up the mods folder if there isn't one, I'll create one and we'll drag it into him. And just like that, we have it set up for our server. To do the same for our client, hold start or the Windows key and press R. Then inside of this new window, type percentage app data percentage backslash dot Minecraft. Simply hit enter. And now you're inside of your Minecraft installation folder. Assuming you already have Fabric installed or whatever platform you're using, you'll probably already have a mods folder. If not, create a mods folder and inside of it, we'll be dropping the simple voice chat we just downloaded. So there we go. We've now installed it on both our client and our server. The only thing you'll need to make note of is there's an extra step we need to do for our server for clients to connect and use voice chat properly. Check the wiki link right over here or in the description down below and you'll find some info about the server set up here. Essentially, we'll need to, whether we're self-hosting it or hosting it with a hosting provider like Apex Hosting, will lead to either port forward, port 24454 for voice chat, or if you're using a hosting provider, then click their guide here, view official guide, and you'll find some steps for setting it up in your hosting panel. But as I'm self-hosting it, I'll need to open the port 24454 in my Windows firewall, and of course, on our router for other people to access our voice chat, as well as our normal Minecraft server. Now, I've already covered setting up a Minecraft server, for which you'll find linked in the description at Dumbler that also goes through firewall and port forwarding. All you need to do is do the same for port 24454 and then your voice chat should be enabled. So I've pulled up my fabric guide here, for example, with the video companion. Scrolling down, you'll get to this colorful section for firewall. Simply copy this block with the copy button up here, paste it into notepad, and all we need to do is change 25565 to 24454 as such. As we only need UDP, we can get rid of the TCP options here so that we just have these two rules. I'll add voice chat so we know what it is here. It's the Minecraft server voice chat. And all we need to do is copy these commands and run them in a new PowerShell window running as admin. So hit start, search for PowerShell, right click and run as admin. Paste these commands in here, hit enter a few times for them to run. And now we've opened that port in our firewall. Then for our router, steps may vary, but essentially you'll log into your router and add 24454 for both your internal and external port and forward the UDP protocol to your computer. For me, the server's running on 192.168.1.5, so that's where I'll be sending it. As such, just like that, we've now port forwarded. To find your computer, hit start, type in CMD, and inside of your command prompt, type ipconfig and hit enter. You'll see a response like this. So the IPv4 address here is the IP address of my computer, and it's the one that I should use on my router. This website was just an example. You'll be doing something similar on your particular router using your admin password, etc. Once you've done all of these steps, you've now successfully set it up on your server. All you need to do is start your server, start 
start your game, connect and voice chat works out of the box. So I'll start up my server. And once this is started up, we'll do the same with our client. Selecting Fabric 1.21.3 and choosing Play. And once your game starts, I'll head to Multiplayer and connect to our own server. So in my case, 182.168.150. Or if you're connecting to your own PC, where the server is running, 127.0.0.1. You'll need to use this instead of localhost, otherwise the voice chat won't work properly. Adding our server and joining it, when we get in, we'll see press V to set up voice chat. Once we do so, we can either follow the guide by choosing next, or we can skip it and set it up ourselves. I'll choose next for the guide, we'll choose our correct microphone, then our correct speaker, then we can choose push to talk or your voice activation. I'd recommend push to talk unless you want your microphone being open all the time for all nearby players. I'll choose voice activation for now. I'll leave these options as default. I'd recommend enabling noise suppression if you have a noisier mic. If you have noise suppression on in Discord, which is on by default, you should probably turn it on here as well. Next and finish setup. There we go. You can see in the bottom left, our microphone is currently muted. Hit V to open up your voice chat settings and you can unmute your microphone here, mute other players here and adjust the volumes of other players nearby here. In the settings window, we can customize things further, choose a different microphone or speaker, and on the group channel over here, we can create a new group to only speak to a particular group nearby. Players who are not in your group can't hear you, but you can hear them. Finally, we can start recording and hide all voice chat icons if we want a cleaner setup. That's it. It's a super simple mod, and once it's set up, it just works. So, hopefully you found this guide useful. Thank you for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.